And as the vision consumed me, I didn't want a resting place. I wanted more. And the Lord was just revving things up because the electricity of his word was like going through me. And so I was in a state of utter blessedness. And uh, in the spirit, as the future writer of the Islamic dove of peace in this here world, it wasn't possible for me to miss the flaming blue fire of God's greatest glory that was surrounding the bejeweled walls of the Lord's heavenly temples. And neither could I help beholding the portals that were blazing away with the hottest spiritual fire. And yet I could discern it would not burn. It was like a cool flame, if that makes any sense. And everything, I came also to sense everything around me. Uh, it seemed to be as hot as fire and as cold as ice within the same moment. And I, it was just a knowing. And I didn't put my hand in the fire, but I, I, I sensed there was nothing, nothing in my scene that would hurt me. And I, I increasingly was feeling the love of of our hero of heroes, majesty of majesties, Jehovah Nissi, the, the banner of love over each and every one of us. And there were also a host of other delights of life within this vision. And joy was covering me. And the spirit of rejoicing quickly got a, a hold of me. And I felt like doing a dance like uh, King David, but I never has, so I didn't. But it was amazing. And then I beheld the 24 seats in a crescent of the, of, of the elders of heaven, the, the, the senior uh, hosts by the great white throne. And upon those seats I saw 24 elders sitting, clothed in the whitest rain, raiment within that crystal house of fire and ice. But without warning, all of a sudden, within a moment, uh, I then abruptly found myself translated once again unto the Lord's highest great white temple, where the great book of love has always been housed, and I was excited. There is no word to put. Uh, it was just all awesomeness, and it was all astounding. And the splendor of His Majesty was piercing me again and again. And so I couldn't help falling on my face, and I did a couple times during this whole episode. It seemed to be lasting for like an hour, but I, I still have no conception of how much time it actually took, but when it ended, I yelled, and I, no, I wanted it to continue. And uh, so uh, being Lord's writer of his praises, uh, looking at that glory was the most amazing thing. And to the shock of myself as a fisher of men, that amazing temple of awesome splendor, it, it, I could see clearly, suddenly, uh, that it was built out of some gorgeous roaring flames of the bluest fire that I could ever imagine. And yet there was uh, like a 3D substance to the fire. Uh, I don't know even know how to explain it. It, 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 it looked like ice in some cr crystalline way. And I, don't, I still don't know how to explain it. But in every uh, way that I could explain, uh, my vision, it, it, it was so excelled in excellence that its magnificence could never really be described. For the remarkable nature of that flaming temple of blaze was completely aflame with incomprehensible splendor, and it was inconceivably stupendous within its mystical appearance of a resplendent holy mist of golden translucence. And that's, it's, it's, it's like it was transparent, but it was, it was like it wasn't. Um, and even its floor was uh, of the second great white uh, palace. It was, uh, and I'm not sure whether it was a palace or whether it was a temple, uh, but its, its floor was made of flaming blue fire as well, and above it was a rural inferno of God's glory, so exceedingly thick that the radiance thereof was manifesting itself as a misty fog of purity, appearing as a billowy cloud by day and is an incredible pillar of incinerating fire by night, fire by fire and cloud. And it was, it was coming again for all of mankind. 
and its ceiling was also made of holy flaming fire, being fervent and icy cold at the same time. And the word of God then echoed unto his thunder, saying, Let every faithful soul behold uh, the love of needed by the carpenter of the ages to build this beautiful place. And uh, so, praise God, it was a time of awareness. And uh, the awareness that I had, it was moving me to a, a new place. So, um, comprehend now that the problem with writing any land, any, any uh, line in some sifting sh sand, is that just a breath of exasperation easily makes a visible thing to disappear. But my vision, this could never disappear. It was more real than the um, than all that I could see, and I've come to realize that that is the truest truth. And so praise God that um, the seeing that I had it was consuming me, and it came about in this vision that I then beheld God's loftiest great white throne there, and and the appearance. Of it was like the whitest ice and it was emitting a, a blue mist and it was like a green emerald rainbow around it and it was uh, uh, reflecting with flickering flames of the Lord's revealed truth and then I suddenly beheld the, the bejeweled thrones of the Lord God's honor and it was shining like some dwarf stars that were ablaze with inviting coronas that effortly was reaching out hypnotically unto any lightning struck beholder of such awesome beauty. And it was just uh, piercing my, uh, my heart. And grand was the ambience of that breathtaking royal throne room. Glorious was the dazzling emerald green lights which were shining over top of them. Most great was the fire all about which was burning upon with the greatest affliction uh, affection. It was burning with the greatest affection towards he that once walked upon the waters. And incredibly shocking to behold was the continual blaze of those cool flames, a flame with the strongest desire for that regal son of Mary who was sitting there majestically as our Messiah, being clothed, clothed with the Most High's greatest heartfelt love, which was bleeding throughout the surrounding great white cloud of his very own glory. And it was uncanny reflections of his radiance. And the undersides of those great white thrones, uh, uh, from there allowed the holiest streams of flaming fire to be flowing out of the golden flames of their seats that were also all aglow, all the way to the brilliant sea of glass, sapphire sea, which was well reflecting the holiest fires of Isa Yeshua, Jesus' his, his temple of temples. And that eternal glory was sitting there on his great white throne, holding the scepter uh, and diadem of, of love that was all surpassing, all transcending for all of his people of love. And I knew, looking at him crowned radiantly with seven golden crowns of his absolute uh, authority, which was shining like a laser beam, I knew he had never lost one out of his nail-scarred hands being slain before the foundation of the earth for all. And within that moment, my heart skipped a uh, beat because I knew that that information could turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to the fathers by love, knowing that our, our, our beloved people are safe in God's embrace as long as they committed not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit and kept their love alive as a child moving forward as a verb. And in my seeing, even the beautiful seamless raiment of the Lord, it was shining far brighter than our sun ever has, and it was far brighter, bright, whiter than the whitest snow uh, of a real abominable blizzard. And so the unseen barrier was a was a unseen force, though, and I felt the presence of God's greatest honor there. And nor could any angels even dare entering into that holiest place, or even look upon his benevolent face therein, because of the unleashed glory all about which no terrestrial or celestial face could ever behold unless the Lord allowed it. And 
within that moment, I was in utter euphoria. For the flaming fire of God's crowning wisdom was all about him, and the great blazing fire of the wisest wisdom stood before him smartly, and none of the angels in heaven could even think about drawing near unto our Lord's eyes ablaze unless he invited them to watch. And so, man, it was time that this vision was just becoming more and more explosive, and it was totally um, making me into like a spirit even before uh, I, I knew what I was. I didn't know what I was. I didn't know if I had uh, any flesh yet because I felt a burning in my heart and my mind and my eyes. It's like I was so close to the fire. It's like I was getting scorched, but what a way to get burnt and crispy, man. It was 